Look, you know, first and foremost is, um, you know, we understand about the public being let down and, you know, the, uh, the show here, everybody's gone to a great deal of trouble. First and foremost, you his opponents here, they've weighed in, you know, but look, this has uh, gone wrong from Tuesday. He finished his camp over the weekend, uh, last weekend. Then on the Tuesday, he was getting on the plane from Amsterdam. He said, I don't feel too good. So he went and got some uh, lem sips and stuff. And uh, as the day wore on and he arrived here, he started feeling a little bit down again. And uh, the next morning, Wednesday, that's when it really hit. And uh, so we got him, uh, he was feeling very weak, a fever. So we got him uh, some antibiotics. So we put him on the antibiotics from Wednesday morning. And instead of having them, we put him on amoxicillin, the 500 milligrams. So we put him on them. So instead of having like two doses a day, we put him on three to try and get it out of his system quick. And that seemed to be working. So all day Wednesday, he rested in his bed, took the medication, kept on hot fluids, and uh, we put him on that. And uh, Thursday, he started feeling better in himself. All this green stuff was coming off his chest, this mucus or whatever. And um, Friday morning, we got all that was off his chest. So we took him on the, uh, I took him down the gym, give him some very, very light weights to keep his body moving where he'd been resting all the day before. And um, in the evening, yesterday evening, we took him on the pads. And uh, when I took him on the pads, he was forcing his uh, shots. So his jab was not coming off and you know, stuff like that. So he was, uh, he was weak. So that, that rang alarm bells. So I said, look, let's see what you like uh, in the morning. And just, let's just see. So the next, um, the next morning, which is this morning, as we all know, he's come down here for breakfast. And he's gone, I said, how do you feel? He says, very, very weak. You know, you can see by looking at him, he's shattered. So uh, that's it. So we've had a meeting with Eddie this morning as well informed Eddie, which Eddie's been kept in the loop all week with it, what's been going on. And uh, we've all come to the right decision. You know, I spoke to Mick, uh, Mick Hennessy, Hennessy Sports is here, and, uh, and everybody's under the same agreement that there's no point in putting him in. So, in a, to basically to highlight it down, there's nothing to be said. It's very uh, disappointing to say the least because We've been away from home for three weeks. I've been in Holland for two weeks. Everything's gone right in a three month camp, better than what it's ever been before. And on Tuesday, he comes down with this, whatever it is, it's a virus. It's put him in a, a very weak state. The antibiotics, because as we know, it kills the good bacteria and the bad. So it's put him in a, no, it's put, it's put him in a very weak state. You know, he's weak and he's, uh, he's very fatigued. Well, this is why, you know, this is why we, we, we look at the fighters. This is what your role is. You're a trainer, you know, you're everything to that fighter. And it's my job to make sure everything's right with him. And look, we're not here to get a paycheck, first and foremost, are we? We're here for world boxing. And he's having a three-month training camp, doing everything right to put on a great performance. Because let's look at it, you're getting paid to put on a great performance. We ain't here to waste time or have give me fights. You know, this is an opponent where nobody special the opponent. You know, this is just an opponent where you, he can get back out, keep busy, practice his new skills. That's what this fight is. It's not no major league fight he's having. Yeah, so basically, we can't put him in fights like this where he's not absolutely 100%, doesn't matter who you're fighting, whether they're good, whether they're not good, whether they're not so good, the opponents are pretty irrelevant in this. It's where your health is at stake. And when he was on the pads yesterday, I could clearly see there was no snap in his shots. And when he was trying to get speed, he was pushing the shots because he just couldn't get, there's no energy there. So that tells me all I need to, all I need to see. Well, the good thing is now he's getting a lot older because a few years ago he wouldn't say anything. Can he just say, just let me fight? You know, he, he wouldn't say a thing. Now he's listening to his body more and he's being open and honest about it. 
and he, you know, he's come this morning because this morning I was going to take him on the pads this afternoon and try him again. But he said, I said, how are you feeling? He said, look, it's gone. So he, he knows himself, you know, so let's look at it this way. What do we do in a situation like this? Do we put him in the fight and he has a complete stinker and then you give the explanation after and then people will look up and say to me, well, hang on a minute. Why did you let him fight then if he's ill? You know, so better off not bothering because it's a case where you can't win anyway. So there's no point. A fighter has to be 100% healthy before he stepped for them ropes because your skill set is not there and you're not going to perform. Therefore, you've wasted everything. But it is very, very distressing what's happened here, you know, to say the least, because this is not about money. It's not about all the waste of time, everybody clamoring round and doing whatever. This is disaster on a, on a major scale, in my opinion. Because look, I've got better things to do in the way three months of my time. And all my team as well. You know, we've all gone to great lengths, great expense and everything else. And you can't get your time back. The only positive thing out of it is that he's uh, picked up a lot of skill set. And it's just very disappointing because the fans and the public haven't got to see it. That's another frustrating point. So all the hard work you've done, people are not getting to see it. So it's like, listen, it's a shot out the blue. It's like being, look, it's like walking down the road and just getting shot. You know, you don't expect it, do you? You know, it's like um, with anything. These things happen and when they happen, they don't give warning. They just happen. But looking back, there's always things to be learned from it because at the end of a camp or during a camp, it's always wise you know, I'm going to start having all the bloods checked regular and a proper blood check right across the board, which tells me what bloods are low or wherever they are. But in this instance, I think everything's been done right because it has to be because he's had a three month camp and he's not been unwell in any of the camp. Oh, well, just a conversation with Eddie. Uh, he's going to look at his dates. He's on the f he's on the next show, which will be the next show in the UK sometime in February. So Eddie will announce it and you will be on that bill. You know, um, there's one thing for sure. There's no gimmies, there's no jokes here. Everything what's happened has happened for a reason. Believe me, you know, if he was 75% or even 70, he'd be fighting today. You know, but he's not. He's not well. So you just can't put him in. It's just one of them. It's unfortunate, it's unlucky, and it's, uh, it's one of them. But if you dwell on things, you just knock yourself completely sick. Because we've all got families and that. I've been away from my family for three weeks. You know, in Holland, training, and all for what? Now we've just got to sit down and watch a show where he should be on it, on fire, proving the world exactly what he's about and proving all these doubters wrong. Instead, we've ended up with somebody who's not even fit to fight. You know, look. He's here, he's gone through the motions, he's tried every day. He's even gone, he's done the weigh-in, he's done the press conference, he's fighting. The decision's only been made this morning that he can't go on. So, we've tried, we've, he's had the courses, the antibiotics, he's been brought off the antibiotics, he's had everything under the sun to try and get him ready for today. So, he's been given every chance. He's been given every chance. That's why it's only been called off today. Because, as of from last night, Everybody's open and praying he's going to wake up this morning and get some energy back. You know, some energy back. That'd be enough for this level of opponent. But he hasn't. He's flat. You know, he's tired. He's literally, he's, his arms and his legs, he said, he's, I feel so heavy. How can you let somebody in the ring like that? So it's, uh, it is what it is. But like you said, he's, uh, he's benefited from the camp. Um, there's a good night of boxing on. So I'm looking forward to being a spectator and watching it for a change. And, um, and we're getting back. He will be training over the Christmas. And he'll, uh, he'll be in the gym, still perfecting on his work. And looking forward to February. So he just had to put it behind him. And it's one of them. But this is the first incident we've had. 26 fights. So... And for it to happen, that's what does me though, is to happen on the Tuesday. You were flying here from Holland on Tuesday. 
and then there's a problem. So not during the camp, not in it, no sparring difficulties, zero. So yeah? the, time, the time where you're supposed to be winding down, relaxing, that's when it hits you. Well, yeah, you know, you that week, you're relaxing, everybody's in a good mood, it's fight week, there's a buzz about it, everybody's happy, and instead, we've got somebody who's like a hospital patient. So that's where we are. So it's very, uh, very disappointing, to say the least. You know, there's no words, is there? You know, he's, he's had an excellent camp. He was looking forward, because he said to me many a time, I'm going to show these people exactly what I'm about. You know, he was looking forward to putting on a, a lovely boxing display here. You know, so it's hit him hard, hasn't it? You know, it's three months. It's three months of constant sparring, constant training, getting everything right. You know, people need to understand he's gone through, an, he's gone through a heavy, heavy camp. You know, and to, um, at the time when you should be enjoying it and recovering from all the hard work, you fall ill. So there is no words, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's like a bolt of lightning, it's come out the blue and it's, uh, he's done everything he can, you know, he's even, he's gone through everything here, he's tried everything possible to recover. You know, he's done the weigh-in, you know, it's only been this morning where we've made a joint decision with MTK, Hennessy Sports, spoke to Eddie personally this morning, and we're all of the agreement. You know, he can't fight, because what is the point sending him out there? To do what? To put on a, a lacklustre display, risk his career? You know, I'm quite sure all of his management team and everybody else would be getting a horrendous lot of stick, you know, for saying, you know, why did you put him out there? So, you know, we've made the right decision. He's too weak. You know, it's knocked him about. You know, he's a. Uh, he can't fight. It's simple. He's too. He's too weak, and he's not well. The re I think. I think the infection's mostly gone, but I think the for what it's done to his body, it's took his toll on him. So he's it's made him feel very heavy. His legs, his arms, feels very weak. He's sweating. So there's no way he can he can fight. He hasn't had long enough to recover. It's come on him on the Tuesday. It's hit hard on Wednesday. Started to recover on Thursday. It's coming out of his system. He's on these antibiotics. They're a six-day course. He's only been on them 48 hours. You know, it's, it's not enough time. So unfortunately, it's uh, it's come at disastrously the wrong timing.